All right, uh, number eight. Alta wants us to solve this using Gauss elimination. So uh, I'm just going to solve it with the calculator just to show you that again. Uh, you'll be able to use technology, but sometimes you'll be required to show by hand. Just refer to video seven and uh, follow that method. Um, <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is go second matrix, arrow over to edit, hit enter on A. We're going to change A up. So we have two columns, sorry, two rows, three columns. So we're still going to have a two by three. So enter, enter. Now I'm going to start inserting uh, the value. So the first value is a two. So I'll put a two here, enter. And then negative three, enter. I didn't like me typing in the minus sign instead of negative. So negative three, enter. And then 11, enter. So I got that first row in. And then second row is going to be negative six. And then positive nine. And then a negative 34. Okay, so once you have it all entered, second quit to get out and then we're gonna go second matrix again we're gonna arrow to the middle for math and we're gonna arrow up to RREF reduce row echelon form <coughs> and then we are going to do second matrix one more time and then enter on A and then enter again and this is what we get. <clears throat> okay, so notice what you should see is a one, zero, and then um, a number, and you should see zero, one, and a number. Okay, the fact that we don't see that tells us that there's uh, something else going on. So it looks like this is going to be um, no solution. Uh, normally, I think if you see all zeros, that means infinitely many solutions. But um, this is what this is what this is saying. Let me write it down so you can kind of see what's going on. This is what the calculator is giving us <coughs> as far as an equation. It's saying that um, one x. I don't know why I'm writing the one, but one x minus one point five y uh, equals zero. <coughs> And then on the next row, it's saying 0x plus 0y equals 1. So the only way for this to be true, this first equation, is if x was 0, so 1 times 0 would be 0, and y was 0. So any number times 0 is 0. So if that was the case, this would be 0. And then they say, okay, 0 plus 0 is equal to 1, and that's not true. So because this is not true, when you see something like that in this matrix, um, so you have three scenarios. You'll have uh, the case where you get zero, one zero, zero one. You'll get some numbers. It gives you one solution. You'll have a case where um, you might have some number, number, and I don't know number. I don't know what the numbers will be. And then you have all zeros. If you have all zeros, that means it's true. So you have infinite solutions, INF, okay. And then the third scenario, which is what we just saw, you have some number, 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 and then you have zero, zero equal number. Okay, if this is the case, then there is no solution, okay. So that's what we have here when we solve that. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to say there is no solution. Uh, solution set is empty.